hot off the press for 2022, let's take a look at the brand new Chessbase 17. If you're like me, you've used Chessbase products for a long time, then this may look pretty familiar to you at first glance. So if you've used Chessbase 15 or 16, the layout is pretty much the same. I've been using Chessbase products way back sort of 25 years now, way back to when I was at university, and I think my first chess-based program was chess-based 6. And I've seen, obviously, the program evolve and update over those years. But I don't think I'm exaggerating to say this is perhaps the biggest update to chess-based that I've ever seen. And I say that's over at least 11 different versions of programs. They've made many updates, many upgrades, um, both in the layout and uh, on the surface of the program, but they've hugely upgraded behind the scenes as well. So let's take a look at some, just some of those new functions and features. The first one I want to talk about, actually, and it may seem like something that is not that important to you day to day, but it's actually the data format that Chessbase uses. Um, Lots and lots of kind of basic chess programs just use a simple text file, which they call a PGN file. Um, Chessbase, obviously, is the, the best and most sophisticated ch chess software on the planet. So many years ago, they created uh, a much more modern format, which they called the CBH format. And instead of actually just being based in one file on your computer, it was based over many files. And that was important for speeding up searches and allowing um, much more information in a smaller amount of space on your disk. Obviously, size of files is less important these days. So you can have huge databases. Um, but because with modern computers, we have a lot more storage, that, that that's less important. But be, with big databases, you do want faster, more sophisticated searches. And the new format really does allow that. So for the first time in 20, 25 years, they've updated the format. And they've called it, very simply, so the old one called CBH. The new format is called 2CBH. It requires fewer files and uses much uh, more modern methods. It's simpler and therefore more robust. Uh, things like reorganization and things run twice as fast uh, on the same computer as the old chess space format. It does require more space, but as I say, these days, that's relatively unimportant with the today's disk sizes. Um, the new format gives us a lot of new functionality. You get things like identifiers for the end of a game. You can even determine the beauty of games, and we'll talk about that in a different video. The actual number of files that um, the database takes up on your computer has changed. So I'll just show you very briefly um, files created in Chessbase 16 and Chessbase 17. So this is a brand new database, one that I created in Chessbase 16 here on the left. You can see there's actually uh, 17 separate files go into that database. These databases don't have any games in them yet. They're just empty databases. Here's one I created in Chessbase 17. Fewer files. But this updated format, as I say, gives a lot more functionality and importantly, makes searches run a lot quicker as well. So this is just one of those things that you probably won't notice day to day, but is a huge improvement behind the scenes. It's gonna make searching and using Chessbase day to day much simpler and much faster.